Hi, this is Brenda from BAGRStamps.com. Today I'm just doing a really simple birthday card. I'm taking the Whisper White cardstock. I'm actually just rubbing a um, classic Stampin' Spot uh, over it in Pale Plum. I just wanted a more distressed background for my sentiment, so I'm kind of making my own paper. I'm just putting that off to the side to let it dry a little bit before we get started. The sentiment stamp I'm using is from the Happiest Birthday Wishes collection. It's this oval stamp that actually says the world got a present the day you were born. And the other stamps that I'm using is the Baroque motifs. I'm using the um, uh, big scroll stamp here as a background stamp. And I am again stamping it uh, using the Pale Plum stamp or Pale Plum uh, Stampin' Spot. I'm going to ink that up and stamp it once in the lower right hand corner and then turn the stamp just a little bit and stamp it again in the upper left hand corner. The um, sentiment stamp is actually made to fit perfectly with the large oval punch from Stampin' Up! So you can stamp that and just punch that right out and have a perfect white line around the uh, stamp itself. The scallop the oval scallop punch fits perfectly with the large oval punch and makes the the nicest matting uh, or background. I just uh, die cut this out and that's the paper that I had made earlier with the pale plum ink on the uh, Whisper White cardstock. I'm taking a small flower stamp from that Baroque Motifs set and I'm using the darker purple which is perfect plum. And I'm just stamping that uh, in several random places around the card. Now these stampin' spots I got probably at least seven, maybe eight years ago. And I believe these colors are currently um, discontinued, but there are very similar colors out right now. Um, the paler plum would be like a wisteria, but I'll list those um, colors in the in the body down below the video. So I'm just adhering the sentiment stamp uh, over on the middle left hand side of the card. Of course I have to fiddle with it a little bit to get it right. I never measure anything, I'm just eyeballing it. And uh, go ahead and put that down. Next I'm going to take the perfect plum and just ink up the edges just to make it stand off the paper just a little bit. Uh, I'm not going too crazy. but I just want it to stand off the uh, card just a little bit more. Now this piece of Whisper White cardstock is cut to a quarter inch smaller than the standard A2 size card. The card base itself is uh, out of uh, craft cardstock, which I believe is the crumb cake for um, from Stampin' Up! Now that I've uh, finished the stamping, um, I just like to add a little bit of bling. You can either do that with the um, Dazzling Details, which is the Stampin' Up! Glitter Glue, which works fabulously. And um, the other thing you could do would be Crystal Effects, which is the clear, glossy um, uh, glue accent. It, it really looks nice um, when it dries. There's the finished card. Um, it's kind of difficult to see the glitter. It's a little bit easier from the side there. But uh, thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a great day and come visit me at BAYourStamps.com.